what? Ah, and that explains where her body's warped in. Okay. You found the body of the boy's mother and have recovered her keepsakes. How'd you heal him? Why didn't they just use one of them on the king? It's <laughs> a fair point. Uh, apparently there is a bear over yonder. So we're gonna we're gonna save it, and then we're gonna go attack. Bear. Oh, there's there's a family of bears, turns out. Right. Doggo, attack. Alistair, attack. Lady, attack. Um, also drain life. And I'll stay back here. Doggo, howl. And you... Shield bash. Okay, that bear's dead. <laughs> Alistair went flying. <laughs> Oh, that was amazing. Uh, because then the story wouldn't take place. I mean, that's fair. Right. Onward. So that's, that's us just doing some money farming and leveling, which, you know, that's never going to hurt. Also, maybe these villagers will stop hating me for a minute. Maybe. Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was I did silent things. in prayer and thanks. Right then. Was that was that both the quests? And Andraste came under Apparently that was saying, both the quests. Uh, Slayro, thank you very much for the follow. The I have faith for the make. Was that all the quests? Yes, yeah, it was. Okay. Smiles upon us. Don't forget to visit the Brecklin Forest. Okay. Oh, Reverend Mother. Yes? What can I do for you now? Uh, I want to talk about Sten. It might have been kinder to execute him, but I leave his fate to the Maker. Why does he interest you? Um, what did he do? He butchered an entire farmhold. Only one of the youngest hid long enough to survive. The child said his father had found the canary gravely wounded and took him in. That kindness was repaid with murder. The bandsman found the canary just standing amidst the carnage. He did not resist them. If he butchered an entire family, why did he wait to get captured? Um, what in the world would make him do such a thing? He would not say, though he acknowledged his guilt. Even the seasoned knights who apprehended him were disturbed by the carnage. However docile he appears, do not be fooled. That canary is a danger. Been watching since Lothering, just so you know, I just started a playthrough of Awakening. Nice! <laughs> because of this. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, it's Kurt. How you doing? Um, what if this causes incident with his people? The Maker demands justice, regardless of his race. Yeah, this is my very first time playing through it, so no spoilers, please. Um, is there any way I can convince you to release him? Then his next victims might count you and me as their murderers. 
True. Um, I could lie. I could intimidate. You know what? No, just release him into my custody. To defend against the blight. Perhaps that is a form of atonement. But are you certain you can control him? No idea. <laughs> um, if not, I'll kill him and the problem is solved. I... No, I cannot. There will be too much trouble for us if we are seen cooperating with you. Uh... The dark spawn of the real enemy the maker here. maker cares no less for that Canari's victims than for the thousands who fell in Ostagar. Now, good day. Hmm. Yeah, it is my first time, Sliver Dead. Yes. What can I do for you now? Um, I still want to talk about Sten. Okay. We have already discussed this, and I told you I would not release the creature. I failed. Uh, will you reconsider? I cannot. Grey Warden, though you may be, mm. please leave the Kunari to his fate. I'm not going to threaten her life. I am glad. Your efforts are no doubt better spent elsewhere. Hmm. I wonder if I can just steal the key from her. I am a rogue. Uh, then again, these guys might get a little upset about that. Go talk to Sten. All right, I'll give that a shot. The giant men in heavy armor might be upset if I try to steal a key off of the Reverend Mother. Don't worry, just steal it. <laughs> All right then, back to Sten. So tell me something, Morrigan. Did you live there in that forest your entire life? I left it on occasion, but I always returned. Why? Is that so strange? It was my home. But it was just you and your mother there. No one else. Mother occasionally had company. Ooh. What? Company? Do I even want to ask? No, you really <laughs> don't. Hi, Stan. You wish something more of me? Uh, no, no. My thanks, Elf. No. Can I just unlock the cage? Yeah, I can just unlock the cage. is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. I'm just, a, I'm a good lockpick. I can just take the fucking cage open. It's fine. <laughs> um, you will find your atonement. That's fair. Um, and if you annoy me, I can decide to kill you. Uh, no, nah, let's just not say that. Thank you, Stan. Glad to have you with us. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. He's tough as hell. Fair enough. Um, a level eight warrior. I'm guessing he's like a double, uh, a, or a giant sword berserker kind of person. I do like the, the party we have set up right now, so I'll probably keep them. I might swap out Alistair for Sten. Although, mm, I'll think about it, except for now. Quest completed. Now, are you still mad at me? Don't need more trouble here. So do what you must. I've, um, I've Everybody hates me. Maker. Please stay away, stranger. I think I rolled Alistair, Morgan, and the dog for the whole game. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't blame you. It's not a bad team. Huh. Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. Yeah, a little bit. All right. Uh, do you have a backpack? No, you have wine. I'll take that off you. Um, I'll keep the great sword. Oathkeeper. Ooh. That's a nice sword. Uh, Alistair, come here. Oathkeeper? Uh, yep, it's better in every way. Excellent. So we have a Dwarven Longsword just hanging out. Uh, now you're walking around with a known mass murderer, to be fair. I mean, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> 
Those suppose you're looking to buy just a good just just a guy who admitted to killing an entire <laughs> farm worth of people. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um Let's sell these and that. Um Probably sell that one as well. Maybe. I need to get go through the equipment and give it to people who need it. <laughs> um, that's expensive. That's expensive. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Uh, and a witch and a huge bear dog. <laughs> and you're still an elf. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of not these people cup of tea. Um... Tribal necklace, that's a gift. Um, don't know what the fire crystals do. Shiny gold ring is a gift. That's a gift. These are all gifts. Okay. Iron ring and surveyor. Plus one willpower. Hold on a sec. Here, I got a ring for you. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Cat bear dog. It's like the child of a bear and a mastiff ate a tiger. <laughs> Whatever it is, it must be scary. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so what quests do I have left here? Uh, did that, did that, did that. That seems to be it. All right then, on our way. If I am missing a quest in this town, speak up. Because I'm happy to go and do it, but uh, for now, it seems that we're done here. Unless you guys have anything to say, do you? The carnage we left in the wild okay. was horrifying. We are the loudest group of adventurers ever. Every step we take, it's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's be off. Yes. Venture forth. Yes. Now you wanted me to go to a forest. Oh. Well, that thing's just fucking cool. <laughs> you must gather your party before venturing forth. <laughs> Bad dreams, huh? Uh, yes, it seemed so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. That makes sense. Uh, so the Archdemon's a dragon. Why didn't Duncan tell everybody that? Wouldn't that make sense? He did. Oh. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Fair enough. It wasn't in the spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, any other surprises I should know about? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the Blight alone thing? No. I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, promise. you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. New quest enchantment. Okay. Uh, just getting a bevy of new test quests all of a sudden. Hold on. Talk to the dwarves. The dwarves? Hey, the dwarves! Nice. And apparently we have some premium content here as well. Silkers Pass, 
Soldier's Peak. Uh, there's a merchant following the camp. Okay. And a king's confidant. There's rumors a fellow survivor of Ostagar has escaped the prisons of Bon Loren and is seeking the aid of the Grey Wardens. The band's lie, lands lie in the northwest reaches of the Banorn. Escaped prisoner has likely taken refuge in the deep woods. Okay. 2009 premium content. Exactly. Uh, by the way, you can give gifts to people, I believe, so don't be confused if you find flowers and chocolate. Uh, doggo. Hi, doggo. Wish to matter, doggo. Oh, why, you little... What? Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. Don't get near his food. <laughs> it was just a warning. He could have taken your hand off. Don't you think I don't know it? Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. Damn right it will. Good boy. I once heard a really old legend about how the hound warriors in the days of the old tribes would feed their Mabari the flesh of the vanquished. I do that. Well, that's what I heard anyway. It would sometimes be human flesh. Oh, okay. I won't I won't feed him anymore. Oh, like you can tell the difference. Well, you know, maybe you've already been fed something. Someone. <laughs> oh. You leave the doggo alone. Don't listen to Alistair. He's full of rubbish. Hey. <laughs> uh, does the dog get armor? Um, I think so. People were saying he gets collars and some other things. Four legs, four foot tall from pad of top, paw to the top of the head, and he forgets it's a war dog. <laughs> Hi, Kronos. Hi. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy, Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? Mm, nope. <laughs> I'm Jin, and I've never heard of you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the Wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. It is. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge fulfilled. Okay. What promise did Duncan make? My family... Well, past a bit checkered to see. Nobles look at us with disdain. My great great grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. Hmm. So King Olin banished the wardens and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Yeah, super sus. Uh, what happened next? Hard to say. After King Olin died, there was a civil war, loads worse than this one. And our family was on the run, hunted by enemies, with nary a friend in the world. But Dryden's are tough. We rebuilt, became merchants, and we never lost our pride. Well, that's adorable. Um, I'm surprised you kept your name. Our family's only crime was guarding the kingdom against the blight. We're not ashamed of that. Is that a flannel shirt without buttons? <laughs> uh, what favor did you ask, Duncan? for the truth. My family reveres Sophia Dryden. We know she died at the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak. We want evidence to clear her name. It won't restore our land or our titles, but it'll restore our honor. Okay. Um... Couldn't you just go there by yourself? Well, no one's been to Soldier's Peak since Ireland's days. At least none that's come back. There. I spent years mapping the maze of tunnels to the peak, and I found the way a few years back. So I went to Duncan, I did, and I said that he could reclaim the old base, and my family could have its honor. Okay. Um. Ow, Kronos, that's my, that's my thumb. I need that. I need that for thumbs. 
There we go. Um, how overcoming the peak helped the wardens? Soldiers peak a strategic and symbolic importance. Duncan said that it would be worth it right there. Oh. He also hoped to recover lost warden history and perhaps a few old relics. No one knows what's up there now. Kronos demands a blood sacrifice. Um... So how bad is Sol is Soldier's Peak, by the way? Like, if I go there right now, how dead am I? I'm guessing fairly dead. Uh, I will hydrate water as soon as Kronos is done drinking it. <laughs> uh, pretty tough? Okay. It's okay, you can have some. Go ahead. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. Easy peasy, you walk right through it. Why don't I trust you, Pete? <laughs> um, what do you need from me? I can pick my way through the tunnels at the base of Soldier's Peak, but the place, well, they say it's haunted, and it'll be dangerous for certain. Will you think on it at least? Yeah. Okay, I'll help you. Uh, actually, why didn't Duncan help you? Darkspawn surfaced in Southern Ferelden. Hey, hey, leave the mic alone. got plenty busy recruiting new wardens and meeting with good King Caelan. Duncan said he would help after the Battle of Ostagar. Said there might be useful things at the peak, but he never yeah. had the chance. Well, that's fair. Um, so going right now, I'd probably get killed, I'm assuming. But I will help you. A thousand you. blessings upon you, warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive... We'll pick our way through the tunnels together. You can do the peak now, but the later you do it, the easier it is to upgrade. Oh, it's level scaled. Okay. It's level scaled, so you can do it right now. I see. Would say you need to level up the mage a bit. Well, that's fair. Also, hello, ah, Sandal. It's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fedic at your service once again. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. Fair. Well, I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Uh, sure. Um, have you been following us? Following you? I'm not even certain where you're going, my friend. And quite frankly, it's none of my business. Trust me when I say that my encountering you here was serendipity and nothing more. I travel a lot, so I'm bound to meet everyone on the road eventually. Fair. If you prefer, I'll take my boy and be on my way. But regretfully, you're the safest spot on this road, without a doubt. Now you can stay. Um, yeah, what do you sell? Anything, everything, but all of the finest quality. No cheap trinkets here. And my boy Sandal happens to be a bit of a hand with enchantments. Oh, yes. Hmm. Sadly, it also makes us a target for bandits and the like. If there were spare hands to hire as guards, I would have done so long ago. Okay. Well, you're free. You're free to Wonderful. stay. Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Right then. Hello. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was he now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, what enchantments can you do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. Fair. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there <laughs> you have it. <laughs> He's so excited. I like him. Uh, have you learned what a tranquil is yet? Yes, I, I have. Um, kind of terrifying, actually. Um, yeah, what kind of enchantments can you do? Enchantment! Right. Uh, okay, so I have the Oath Keeper can be enchanted, and the Dagger can be enchanted. Uh, let's do the Dagger. Apparently, Journeyman Lightning Stone? 
for two electricity damage. Yeah, okay. Nice. Now I have an electric sword. Yeah, definitely, Yikes. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Fair enough. Uh, what's your story? Oh, nothing so unusual and so interesting as you and your companions, I'm sure. Dwarven merchants are common enough on these roads, aren't they? Well, okay, I don't think I passed that persuasion check. Uh, let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. I do like a discount. Do you have a backpack? You do. Beautiful. Uh, seven gold. Seven gold might be a bit much. <laughs> An uncrushable pigeon, though. I'll, I'll buy that for a dollar. Quite literally. Um... A chastity belt. Okay. Cat lady's hobble stick. Why is all this free? The Grey Warden hand puppet. Um. Whatever. It's it's free. I'll take it. Inventory's full. Damn. Uh. Well, I am carrying forty-seven flasks. Um, uh, if you listen to Sten's dialogue, his take on religion is awesome. Nice. But I can't wait to see Sean play Dragon Age 2 because the lore and history between mages and non-mages are... Ah, fair enough. Okay, so... If I sell this back to him, I can always buy it again later, right? Because I kind of filled up all my inventory slots. Um, also, don't think we need that shield. Uh, let's get rid of you. And you. And you. Keep those. Sell that. Sell those. Sell that as well. Okay. Kronos, what are you doing? <laughs> um. Probably don't need the bolts. So sell those and sell those. Because I think I'm still using... Yeah, I'm using an actual bow. Speaking of... Is this better? This is the same. Okay. Something you need? I'm sure either my boy or I can... Persuade again. Oh, nothing so unusual and so interesting. Fair enough. I'm sure you'll be... I'm just trying to lose some of my inventory here. So if I sell him... Gifts... And... I guess I should give some people some gifts... Okay, fair enough. Um, don't need the grease trap. I will buy all of your lesser health potions and your normal health potions. Uh, only got seven lesser injury kits, so I'll take all four of the ones you have. Conspirator's foil. Need 18 strength, okay. Uh, got some really nice stuff, but I can't um, do anything with it. Imperial Weavers, that's a mage. Plus two decks. Worse armor, though. And I would lose my bonus. Uh... Probably not. All right. Various runes. Okay, that makes sense. Right then. Hello, Stan. Why are we stopping? Uh. Uh. We're working together. I want to get to know you. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? Kinda. Um. Are you all right? You were in that cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. Right. 
Um, never seen a Kunari before. Tell me about your people. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, why not? People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy eared people who excel at poverty. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, you said you were in the army. I am. Okay. Uh, have you ever fought in a war? I have always fought in war, elf. Uh, what do you mean? My people have been at war since the moment we set foot in the Northern Islands. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, so the Canari didn't come from the New Islands. We do now. <laughs> Almost sounds amused. Um, who are you fighting? The enemy is everywhere. The jungle itself. Vipers, hunting cats. Even some of the flowers can kill the unwary. And always there is the Imperium and the Talvashoth. Interesting. Why are you fighting the Imperium? Because they fight us, of course. The um, Tevinter want nothing more than our absence. They tell us this with magic and steel and death. I Fair. do not see how this matters. Seheron and Parvolan are distant. Ferelden and the Darkspawn are immediate. Also fair. Um, am I going all night? I generally go between four and like eight hours on a game like this. Depends on, you know, how I'm feeling that night. I'll probably be going for at least five hours tonight. Reckon you got another five hours in you. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so the Darkspawn are immediate. That's very true. Fine, let's As you go. Wish. Not super talkative, but he's happier about it. Nice. Alistair, how are you doing? What do you need? You want to talk about Duncan? Do you need a cuddle? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Uh, just thought you might need to talk. I, I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. Hmm. That dude is a wet blanket. He sounds like it, to be honest. Um... Yeah, there's no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done... If we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. Yeah, we can do that. Um, also, I like that this dagger is just constantly shocking me in the back. <laughs> That's got a tingle. Uh, can't wait for you to emerge, um, immerse yourself in, the, in this religion. Yeah, that sounds fun. Um, what about the other Grey, War Grey Wardens? I don't know. I have no idea what the Grey Wardens do for them when they fall in battle. Have you yeah. had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Uh... I saw plenty of death in the alienage. Y yes, I, I suppose you must have. I, I can't even imagine, really. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Also made him kind of feel bad at the end there, but that's okay. <laughs> Uh, anytime. There we go. He he feels better. Uh, Liliana, how you doing? Yes. Let's talk. Well, here I am. Fair point. Uh, about that vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real, and there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. Mm. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I, I fell, and the darkness drew me in. Right then. What happened next? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rosebush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was gray and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. 
It was as though the Maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. Not the way I would take that, but that's kind of a cool way to read it. Alistair tried to re steal your dog's food. I'd say it's even. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, and this made you want to help me. In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so okay. many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the Blight devours everything? Well, that's fair, actually. Um... Yeah, I suppose I couldn't sit by either. That is why you're a Grey Warden. Come, there's a Blight to stop. Okay. Well, she's pleased. Where the hell is... Oh, she's going to be way over there, isn't she? Morgan over here camping by herself. Yep, yep, there she is. <laughs> Morgan, come join the group. What do you wish of me? Uh, something personal. Don't know what that would be. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Why are you still here? That sounds rude as hell to ask. <laughs> but here we go. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. Do you want to leave? If I wanted to leave, then I would go. I remain, so do not ask such pointless questions. That that didn't work out. She is very mad about this. What do you wish of me? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid. Can we can we redo do you this? Wish me to leave? I can't no, do I so don't want you to leave. Then I assume our discussion ends here. Can we see how much she hates us? <laughs> uh, she's she's not pleased. She's the best charmer. Uh, can I can I give you things? How do I give you items? Uh, it says you can give gifts, but I don't know how to do that. Do I? Let's see. There's a stick. That sticks for the doggo. There's a loot. King Merrick shields the Alistair doll. I think the Alistair doll going to Morgan would be hilarious. What do you wish of me? Uh, want to ask you, you something. Um, have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? <laughs> you are very cute to ask so many questions. Hmm. And you're cute when you're evasive. Really? Perhaps we should be wrapped in ribbons and adorned with flowers. So cute are we, too. <laughs> My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. Fascinating. Um, nah, I don't feel sorry for the Templars. You really had no trouble with them. I am unsure. I was too young to understand, and perhaps it was bravado on Flemeth's part. Or perhaps she was merely amused. I will never know. That's Flemeth fair. would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait. <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds <laughs> and to their doom. Oh, shit. Um, let's see. Did you kill them all? Me? No. I never did any of the killing until later. And even then, Flemeth was a glutton for that sort of thing. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. 
Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. That's I fair. did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. That's fair. Um Let's see. I'm not going to ask a foolish question. Do you still think that was fun? I think that my mother made it fun so that a child did not learn to fear. And I think that it was necessary. There are no trials for apostates, no prisons, no mercy. There are only absolutes, so only survival matters. If the wilds have taught me anything, tis this. First, you must survive. Do you disagree? Hmm. Interesting. Um... I mean, that's probably fair. Um, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> an enlightened view, or at least an agreeable one. Enough of this talk. Let us return to the task at hand. Okay. Can I give you a gift yet? What do you wish of me? I just, I want to give you a thing. How do I give gifts? Can I not give gifts because this is like a storyline version of camp or something? I want to give the doggo a stick. Can't do it. Let me let me give a stick. Oh, I think you have to be in the wild to have party members in your party. Oh, okay. All right, well, that's fine. I think that is going to be enough camp talk for now. Uh, how the hell do I leave? Ah, there we go. I'm off. Right, so, yes. Alistair, Morgan, Indeed. Doggo. Yes. And it looks like... We can now go wherever we please. We have Flemeth's Hut, the Wilds, Ostagar. We have Redcliffe, Sulker's Pass, Frostback Mountains, Lake Kalamhad, Ban Lorin, Soldier's Peak, Denerim, and the Outskirts. Uh, I think you have to have the party member selected in the inventory screen. Okay. After a fight, you can have him clean up your bloody mess. It'll improve his disposition. Uh, F5 is quick save. Yep, figured that out. Uh, mixing them up makes a very sad time. Fair enough. Can't just give any gifts. It has to be relevant to them. Okay. Well, let's let's go to the Brecklin Forest since that was a request. Hold, outsider. You may be of my kind, but you are not Dalish. Why are you here? But we have similar tattoos, you gotta admit. Um, <laughs> why am I here? Um, I have business with your leader. And what business is that? Uh, I am a Grey Warden. That is not a lie that many would attempt. I will bring you to the Keeper then, and he can decide if your business is worthwhile. You appropriated those tattoos. <laughs> Hmm. I see we have guests. Ooh, angry doggo. And a hound amongst them. As if we haven't had enough problems with such creatures. <laughs> Who are these strangers, Nithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus, Mithra. You may return to your post. Manuvinen, Keeper. Okay, so we've had Janeway, now we have two Allow me to introduce myself. I am Zathrian, the Keeper of this clan. It's guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? At least it sounds like him. I could be wrong, but that sounds like the guy who played Tuvok on Voyager. Um, my name is Jin. It's a pleasure to meet you. If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South... 
It is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. Explanation? Oh, right. Bodies. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They werewolves? ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak, even with all our magic and healing skill. We will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. Hmm. Interesting. You actually met a woman with tattoos all over her face today. It was more unsettling than seeing a white bald guy with tats on his face. <laughs> Facial tattoos are like... It's like, if there's a reason for them, excellent. If you just enjoy them, also fine. It has nothing to do with me, is, is kind of my, my take on it. Like, um, I, I can find some of them to be rather silly, but it's nothing to do with me at the end of the day. Um, facial tattoos, generally indigenous in nature, finding them very beautiful. Yeah, that's fair. Um, that says something like damaged over your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not saying I won't make fun of you if you have a stupid thing tattooed on your face. However, at the end of the day, it's not my decision whether or not you have a tattoo on your face. At all. Like, it has nothing to do with me, so I really don't care. But, yeah, if you have something absolutely just silly on your face, I, I will point out and probably laugh. Um, so. Is there no way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that, that would be no trivial task to retrieve. I see a hope there. Um, I'm good at non-trivial tasks. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. Right. Kill Elder Werewolf. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. Yeah, that's fair. Um... Have you considered seeking outside help? No, that's a stupid thing to ask. Um, you said you could perhaps destroy the curse. There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. Hmm. Right, I'll find Witherfang then. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Why doesn't my dog like you? <laughs> I have questions. Make them quick, if you please. I have much to do here. My apprentice Lanaya or Seyrel, the clan's storyteller, could provide you with answers just as easily. Um, how do I find Withervang? Watch for the white wolves. They are his eyes and ears in the forest. Okay. Uh, general lycanthropy, don't I really need to ask to about that. My people. Creator's speed on your way. Okay. So, if I were to select Morgan and then... Or actually, no, I know that the doggo wants a stick. Doggo gets a stick. Stick. Yes, you have a stick. Yes. 
Chicago got a stick. All right, Morgan. Uh, let's give you. Um. Ale, wine. Uh, I can give her the Alistair doll. <laughs> I could also give her a stick. <laughs> Oh, I could use it to throw. Oh, okay, so now it's actually a stick that I can play with the puppers with. Okay, that's fair. Uh, have an Alistair doll. I am grateful. It is thoughtful indeed. Plus 50. Plus 50. Morgan can amuse herself by inflicting indignities on the Alistair doll. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Um... Uh, have some wine as well. A fine gift. You have Plus my four. thanks. That's not nearly as good. New ability. What? What? New ability? What? What? <laughs> Why do you have new abilities? Explain. Uh, high approval provides combat bonuses and possible romance options. Oh, I see! Okay, so the more we like each other, the better things go. I see! Alistair, what kind of gifts can I give you? Um... Have a symbol of Andraste. Is that for me? And some ale. Wow. I'm... Wow. Ah, Grey Warden Hand Puppet. Enjoy. I could get used to this, you know. That went up by 50. So that works. Uh, Alistair can play with his puppet and its accompanying toy horse. Awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, that's, that's far too amusing. Um, you don't need a silver bracelet... Small carved statuette, no. Battlefield spirit maintains a chill even in direct sunlight, which it appears to absorb. Optimal s serving is by the drop. Contact with exposed flesh is discouraged, but is likely inevitable. Okay, so this is a really strong booze. Gonna hold on to that. Okay. Can't do anything with that. Okay. So we got some more skills. That's nice. Uh, can the puppers have any other items? I could give the puppers a shiny silver bracelet. He didn't seem to care. He loves me 100%. Never mind. <laughs> the doggo just loves me. This is fun. Well, I'm going to rob you guys. Please leave that be. If you have need of equipment, I am sure Master Varathorn can help you. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. What's inside? What is the point? It is none of your business, so please leave it be. Shame. <laughs> can you can you tell me I'm what's inside? Tishin, Grey Warden. My name is Lunaya. I am Zathrian's first, what you might call an apprentice, perhaps. I've been studying under the Keeper all my life. I am a bit curious of the outside world. Do you mind if I ask you a question or two? Um, sure. I hear the human cities are very large. Thousands upon thousands of souls all packed together in their houses. Is that true? Um, yes, some so larger than the eye can see. How very loud that must be with everyone talking all at once. I try to imagine those of our people living in such a place, surrounded by walls of stone and indifference. It is a difficult thought. Hmm. Interesting, George. A turtleneck feather cloak. Um, I think that's technically called a mantle. If it wraps around the neck with a clasp and has shoulders, it's technically a mantle. Uh, although these days I think people call it a shrug. I don't know why they call it a shrug, but... It's, yeah, it's a thing. Um, 
Let's see. They're used to it just as the humans are. No, that's not true. Um, it isn't. It isn't. It is not an easy life for them. That's true. What about you? What was life like amongst the humans? Because it fits on your shrugs. <laughs> Turtle like feather mantle. There you go. That'll work. Um, the life I had was ruined by a human nobleman. That's true. Oh, I'm saddened to hear that. You have my sympathies. It is said that one day we will have a land of our own. We Dalish gather the ancient wisdom in preparation for this. When that day comes, all elves, even those who have forgotten, will reclaim their former glory. I have one more question, though I'm not sure you can answer it. Do the humans ever regret what they did to us? Uh... I, uh, I, I think some of them do. Not all humans are the same. But... <laughs> I think I would stress some. <laughs> um, although we haven't directly seen anybody mention it or even, yeah, no, even the people that are nice to us aren't, you know, mentioning anything of it. Can't really tell. Haven't seen anything. I understand. One cannot expect to see the questions of history answered on human faces. A poet once wrote of them before the fall of the Dales. Like dragons they fly, glory upon wings. Like dragons they savage, fearsome pretty things. But you don't need me to quote poetry to you. <laughs> Forgive me. Perhaps you have some questions. Yeah, hey, that's own. perfect. 99.9% <laughs> of humans don't think about elves at all. Well, that's not my case in this game so far. It's like 40% of the humans I come across are outright racist, and the rest of them are semi-polite. Or like 40% of the rest are, are polite, and then the rest of those are like standoffish. <laughs> um, tell me about yourself. I'm hardly anyone special, I assure you. If I seem different from the rest of my clan, it's only because I was born amongst humans. Not too different from you, I imagine. I came to the Dalish at a very young age, but I've always retained my curiosity about the world I came from. Okay. How did you come to the Dalish if you're so young? My parents were servants to a human merchant whose caravans plied the southern routes. One day, bandits killed him, and my parents both. Okay. I was the only survivor, just a young girl, and the bandits took me. I was their servant for several years. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. It was. The long years of reflection have allowed me to come to terms with it, to put them in perspective. I can only imagine what would have happened had the clan not saved me from them. Oh. I owe them my life for that, and more. Trying to rearrange myself here. Ow. My knee is not happy with me. <laughs> um... That's fair. So, you said the Dalish rescued you from the bandits. The bandits killed a scout when the clan passed near their camp. When the clan discovered him, Zathrian came looking for his killers. He followed their tracks for almost a month, and when he finally caught up to us, he fell on the bandits like a terror. Nice. No one could stop him. I sat there, and I watched him attack them in a blur, and I reveled in every blow. When he saw me, the fury in his eyes turned to pity. He took me back to the clan, and I've been here ever since. That's a fair point, Pete. Um, let's see. What does a keeper do, exactly? A keeper is, first and foremost, the leader of the clan. He decides where we go and when we shall move. Okay. He's also responsible for knowing the clan's ancient lore and passing it on to the others in the clan. Without a keeper, the clan's knowledge is lost forever. So the clan protects him like no other. Okay, then. Uh, what can you tell me about Zathrian? Nothing that you could not ask Zathrian himself. He is the keeper of this clan and has been for a very long time. He is okay. also a very good man who has lost much. The Dalish are everything to him, and he would do anything to protect them. What has he lost? I really shouldn't talk about that. That's something you should ask him about yourself. Fair enough. Um, 
Yeah, I think that's enough talking to you. I should go. As you wish. Darth Shirel. Yes? What is it you need? Have you news? Uh, I spoke to Lania about you. And what did she have to say? Uh, she said that you've been Keeper for a very long time. That's true. Hundreds of years, if you must know. Slowly, the Dalish will all know once again the agelessness of the elves. For now, only a few of us have regained that ability. But Interesting. I cannot say any more on that. I trust your curiosity is sated. Uh, so you said you lost much, but wouldn't elaborate. I have. I have lost much to these werewolves, and now they are about to take even more from me. I do not wish to dwell on the past. It is too painful. Just help if you can, or leave us to our misery. There are many things in the game you literally can't do if you play as an elf, uh, as other people look down on you or hate you. Oof. When you visit bigger cities in the game, you come across abuse, slavery, ghettos, where elves are forced to live in. Yeah. Um, elves are forcibly separated from the humans. The humans don't think about the elves in their daily lives. That's okay. That's fair. Uh, I need equipment. Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. Okay. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you, the kind that the hunters use. All right, then. I'm off. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Yeah, what are you? The statue represents Selyse. Couldn't read it because it was at the top of the screen. Goddess of the Hunt. Fun little glowing tree. 